Ladies and gentlemen, this just in, March 25th, 2017, Antarctica team conducts cutting-edge research in Antarctica from Skoltech. Shipping snow to Moscow is not like taking coal to Newcastle. According to this article, you can read all about it. I will leave the link in the video description box at skoltech.ru. For nearly a decade, Professor Severnov, the director of Skoltech Center of Data Intensive Biomedicine and Biotechnology, has deployed researchers to the southernmost reaches of the globe to collect snow. Well, you might think, well, so what? It snows every year here in Colorado or New Mexico or many places around the world. Here's where it gets interesting is the discovery of considerable diversity between bacteria that has been collected at four different sites in eastern Antarctica. Their analysis of these bacteria revealed thousands of unique CRISPR spacers. If you haven't heard of CRISPR, it's C-R-I-S-P-R. I'm going to go over this with you here in a minute. They're elements of prokaryotic DNA that enables bacteria to fend off viruses. None of these spacers match those of similar bacteria located in the Northern Hemisphere. This team included Skoltech students along with researchers from the Russian Academy of Science, Moscow State University, St. Petersburg State University, and St. Petersburg State Polytechnic University. So, let's get into the good stuff here. What does that mean? Well, as you can see here, CRISPR, just going to break this down here for you a little bit, give you a diagram of the prokaryotic antiviral defense mechanism. Now, what does that mean to you and me? Well, this means if science, research, investments, time, blood, sweat, and tears go into synthesizing these specific CRISPRs, this specific DNA strand, etc., it could be a completely new revolution in medicine. It could revolutionize medicine, absolutely. Now, another thing that I want to get into with you on the next podcast, I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse. This is where it gets very interesting. Look at that right there on the top left corner. What do you see? It looks, looks strange, doesn't it? It looks like a virus or something. Well, check it out. Bacteriophage, bacteriophage looks like this, and it is literally like something out of a science fiction movie, in my opinion. Was this created in a lab? Well, guess what this bacteriophage does? It eats viruses. It's, compro it's composed of proteins that encapsulate DNA, and they've got very elaborate structures, sacred geometry. I mean, this looks like something you would build in a nano factory or something. <laughs> Very interesting. So that'll be the next podcast. I'm going to get into this with you. And then the consequences of what happens when you start creating bacteria to eat viruses and create viruses to eat bacteria. Will it be like Resident Evil? We'll talk about that on the next podcast. Question everything and be the change you want to see. This is Rex Bear, Fleet Project.